welcome to an exciting cool day with this added coolness of the breeze today a very glad and gratitude morning to everyone present in the class i am your akshita reddy arijala currently pursuing btech first year chemical engineering from the university college of technology usmania university and i'm hosting for the first time in the sunday stop stop talk feeling bit nervous and excited at the same time so without any further delay let's get started firstly i extended i extend my gratitude to each and every member present in the call for joining today today's today it's really going going to be an amazing one let's start our today session with our innovative invocation read by abhinav shri followed our story presentation by pranita nayan sandeka this is who we are we are a team talented energetic astonishing mindsets we can do anything and everything we talk we care we respect each other we see beauty in everything we are connected by hearts and driven by values we celebrate each other we provide value to each other we take ownership in everything we do we have freedom to make mistakes we learn as we go we are mad to make a difference we love disruptive ideas we make impossible things possible we are strong to question the creation we believe in dreaming big if we do not dare to dream big are we really living why be ordinary when we can be extraordinary we should be driven by our goals not by egos we can do it we will do it let us not hope for the best let us be the best this is who we are thank you abhi for boosting our energy by reading our invocation now it's time to our story presentation pranita nam sanyaka thank you abhi for the wonderful invocation for reading out the wonderful invocation so welcome everyone to the most awaited and pleasant moment of the call today myself sandhya and my colleague pranit are going to present you the most special our story presentation which we are also doing for the first time so i hope everyone is excited to hear us out and will give us some excellent comments and suggestions to make this presentation as a special one as we said wo this quote interaction makes miracles happen by our servant in nikilana is beyond everything we all know that we got independence in 1947 but the dynamic discussions which paved the way to this independence is a lot more which is most prominent and necessary for that independence the same way our ecl grows organically through discussions every discussion of our leads to some of the best fruits of our ecl interactions how can someone or a group put up 50000 hours of hard work together is it even possible to think yes absolutely we all together spent more than 50000s of hours discussing many events starting from our obsessions to tmcs and many more hey tanik i guess you should also talk about the books you are authoring one of the books right yes sandhya i am yes i am author of top top ideas of disruption book you know my book is special one it has all the ideas which we implemented in our ecl in all four years it's top ecl 101 book you can check it out at our topisel website topisel.com now everyone is like i am advertising and if you have any doubts in your mind let me clear yes of course i am advertising i'm so happy to say that we have published 15 books and till now till now and many more are to come okay stay happy you are you author the book team you know what that we have crossed 150 top talks isn't it amazing you can check them on our youtube channel every top talk has a wonderful story with lovely learnings to take with us yes sandhya i agree our top talks are always worth watching how can someone miss a wonderful top talk which helps us to meet dr virya brahmangaru yes pranit they are worth spending time for and also obsessions obsessions are also one of the ways that lay the foundation for outstanding learnings we are proud that we present you 12 plus options obsessions 
that are happening every week at 7 pm ist hey sandhya sharing about isel will never end because it's a journey of many experiences and learnings it will take us forever to talk about it and we are out of time too so let's check with our time and move on please okay pranit thank you for reminding we have seven graduates from our isel and out of seven we got phd overseas and three got their desired jobs and one who is unique and special in our way of giving presentations to the people living in the us which she is fond of we have students between 2 and 3 year, uh, second and third years pursuing internships at reputed universities and companies is it possible that a 20 year old can look after a company yes sandhya it is one of our friends is putting up a company called as tokenist and it is one of the most marvelous idea i have ever seen we have digital marketing teams for many companies we have a group whose sole aim is to earn 100 crore by the age of 30 in this groups we have a lot of discussions where we discuss everything we discuss the future of our isel which pave way for the future of our life when we mean everything it means everything Terawatt project is patented project which we are doing under the guidance of Anup ji and Ramakant ji. We would love to extend our gratitude for for them for an interesting in us and giving us this project and thereby giving us opportunity in helping them in this amazing journey. This is what real mentoring means, right? Who would imagine one goes an extra mile to help student? We are so lucky to have amazing mentors in our circle. Wait, wait. Firstly, firstly, let me tell how lucky I am. I have Palni sir as my mentors, as my mentor. He's really cool. He's down to earth person. We have weekly calls where he shares his experiences and learnings from his life. Who wouldn't like to learn from a person who is CIO, Chief Innovation Officer of a company, and who has experience more than my age? now just imagine how lucky our team is to have plentiful people like him we have many experiences and learnings because of the presence of these amazing mentors in our lives they are just magical energizing night brightening talented open hearted remarkable persons in our life and journey of isel So in this joyful journey of Isel, we underwent many mesmerizing learnings, which lead to a better version of ourselves. We have instilled all the qualities which are as follows: technical qual technical skills, leadership qualities, presentation skills, time management, communication skills, collaboration skills, and many more. Equally, some skills are needed to grow as a person in and out. All these qualities helps us to become that person. we got to know about infinite mindset learning mindset compassionate mindset and we proudly say that we have inhabited all these qualities in us by being consistent in what we do gratitude has become a pillar that brought us along these beautiful journeys to make us better version of ourselves thank you team and dr virumu mundaru for patiently listening to us Thank you, Dr. Sir, for assisting assisting us in making this wonderful presentation. Thank you, Sean Sir, for always believing in us, and this is who we are. Thank you, Team Pranit and Sandhya, signing off. Now we are all open for the comments. Can we all unmute and give them a big round of uh, applause? <laughs> Great job, Sandhya and Pranit. <laughs> Dr. Veer Pramungaru, do you have any comments uh, on this presentation? Yeah, I am uh, first of all good morning to everybody, and uh, I take this opportunity uh, given by Topu King. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Meena Rangangaru. with the basic initiator for me to call and uh, asking for presentation then without her i may not be there uh, in the 
in your uh, presentation team today. Coming to Deepti, she has continuously contacted me and uh, made this uh, presentation for today's uh, thing. I hope uh, after listening to your topo team, I felt it very happy because generally I come to know this name is given uh, based on the uh, word of uh, Telugu. So we are topos. That's the real I felt very happy. And, uh, we are maintaining the Telugu word uh, for the one of the society means really I felt very happy. <laughs> then coming to all the credit will come only for the entire team who has invited me uh, for giving this uh, presentation today and to meet all the persons. In fact, uh, it would be very happy if I met physically at your place, but anyhow, no problem. Uh, by seeing your presentation, I felt very happy. Okay. But even though I am ready in online uh, meeting also with all your people, so thank you for giving this opportunity. We are so glad to have you, sir. Okay. Thank you. So, do you have any presentation, or uh, should we uh, like? Is it an interactive session? Yeah, I, I can go for presentation, small brief presentation I'll give. Then yes. after that, uh, we can go ahead for uh, discussion. No issue. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah, yes. Sir. Yeah. It brings me delight and pleasure to introduce our top speaker, who is none other than Defense Research Development Organization, DRDO scientist, Dr. K. Veerabrahman, sir. He did his PhD in material science. He worked on composite and aerospace structures in DRDO. Most importantly, he worked on the... He worked on the idea of biodegradable plastic bags. Idea, idea rules the world. A good idea becomes a great initiative with the, with the, when it is expressed. One such idea, idea led to the basis, basis to create an eco-friendly image. Everything begins with a right, right idea. Idea of flying lead to an invention of aeroplane. Idea of conserving lead to the invention of telephone and mobile. Idea of entertaining and getting known facts lead to the invention of television. Idea of life lead to the invention of birth and many more. So an ordinary person with an extraordinary idea has lead to the innovative invention, which may be the creation of the inner earth. During his beginner venture in DRDO, he worked on a on composite and aerospace, aerospace structures. And an ordinary person becomes extraordinary with ideas they have. So one such person is our top speaker, Dr. K. Veera Brahman. So a great, great idea begins a great initiative when it is expressed. One such idea lead, lead to the basis to create an eco-friendly invention. Being a student of chemical and chemistry and science, he had uh, he had this idea of polymer engineering and polymer science, which lead to led to a highly friendly alternative to ecosystem, which is biodegradable bag. What makes his idea set apart from worldwide technologies is that with the idea of biodegradable bags, he want to eliminate the uh, use of plastic, which is major risk to our life to the lives of living system on the earth. This, this bag is an amazing alternative policy <laughs> bags. The raw materials used in the preparing this yeah. bag are available in yeah. India. For example, the corn starch. The corn is available in India. It is soil, uh, it is soil soluble. When it is biodegradable bag kept in the soil, it turns to manure. And it, it is an, a water soluble as well. It so dissolves in water and it's safe if consumed. Like if 
if the water if the water remains like fishes consume them it does not harm them and more ad advantages let's hear from sir richel i so now meeting or is all yours are you starting the presentation dr yes. richel mumgar mm -hmm. yes or we are uh, working on sharing the screen Uh, you should share a tab. Tab is the best way to share. When you uh, when you click on share the screen, uh, yes. you should get an option called a tab, and try to share the tab if you can. Uh, is it now? Uh, you are able to see the presentation now? No, not yet. Not no. yet. Maybe it will happen, but no, I can't. We can't see it yet. Now with okay. We still can't see your screen, sir. Is, is it uh, visible now or any? No, we can't see it. Sorry. Maybe you can send it to Deep Deepthi, uh, and she yes, can. Sir. You can send share. it to me. I can share. I can share it. Yeah, through that same mail, if you can send the presentation, okay. she can share it. Uh, Deepthi, you got it. No, sir, not yet. I'll send you a mail. So, can you share it on WhatsApp too, uh, if you can? No, oh, it is in system only, actually. Uh, Otherwise, uh, uh, I will try. Let me one more time. I'll try. Deeply, it will come. It just yes. you know, yeah, it it should come any time, any moment. You check them um, meanwhile, Deepthi. So let me, before that, uh, uh, let me, I will just have a brief introduction by the time you get a presentation, okay? I think uh, my size and it is very slow. I don't know what is the reason. Okay, are you able to listen me at least? Yes, we are able to hear you. Yeah, Please continue. Yeah. Oh, first of all, good morning to everybody. I hope uh, I'll take this opportunity uh, to explain the briefing about the technology aspects as well as the requirement aspect as well as the promotion of the product aspect and what way this idea has um, come to my mind and why we have started in this line of thinking of work. These are all the things I just want to cover it. So, you know, the basic origin for this is that nowadays we are facing a lot of problem, especially plastic pollution for soil, water and the land uh, pollution is happening. This we want to avoid basically. There's the main uh, concept and the idea behind why we have started this one. We know in villages we are seeing many animals are dying by eating a simple polyethylene plastic carry bags. So hence what we thought of that is why can't we do some alternate solution? There's a basic idea behind this. So then uh, uh, in COVID time, we try to utilize that uh, time where our office is having other type of work. Uh, we kept it aside because of logistics issue. Then we have started in this line of working, basically. So in this line, what we started is basically when we go for uh, any of the solution, that should be basically com compostable solution. That's the idea behind this. So nowadays, uh, if you see, plastic has 200 to 300 years of life. Whereas, if you go for normal uh, single-use application of any plastic product, what is the need of uh, a material which has 300 years of life to select and to do the plastic carry bag? 
that's why what we thought of is we have uh, said that uh, we will go for a material which should have a short life for selection of this carrier. So that's the reason we have selected uh, some biopolymers. So these biopolymers basically having an advantage of uh, you know limited life. That's the idea behind this where we have started our this thing. Hence, what we thought of that is we start with the slow replacement. Example, uh, you take in our uh, daily life, we will have maximum usage is carry back and after that water bottles. So we, we are able to get rid of these two products, at least we may go for having a 60% uh, reduction of plastic pollution. That's the reason we started, first we want to replace with carry bags. Subsequently, we want to go for replacement of water bottles. So we are doing work already carry bags point of view, we have succeeded, you know this. And coming to water bottles, uh, we are at the stage of, uh, at the final end, maybe maximum it may take uh, for us uh, four to five months, we are able to give water bottles also. So, the beauty of this product is, you know, biodegradable, especially. So, that's the reason we can have uh, biodegradability is the main criteria when we select these materials for making this. So, shall I go ahead the presentation, uh, Dipti? Yes, sir. Yeah, go to the next slide. This is basic my sequence of presentation. What is the need for change of alternate solutions? How we selected raw materials? How we identified the formulation? And how we made the end product? See, a DRDO will always see the end product application only, not basic R&D. That's the reason we have gone till uh, realization of the product. Then what, is, what, is the, what are the quality concerns we have taken care? What are the tests to be conducted to realize this product to send into society? And what is the way this technology we are given to various companies? And what are the customers? And what is the future scope of projects where uh, the students like you can join for us uh, hands to hands so that uh, we can do betterment and uh, improvements also. Next slide. So you know everything will uh, is started from uh, earth and finally it will go back to earth. This is the concept of idea behind this uh, biodegradability and compostability. Go to next. So you know basically the problem in a single use plastics is only one time we will use it but uh, it has a very long life. It is piling a lot of plastic products like uh, bottles, uh, wrappers, straws, bags, etc. So because of this, uh, we are getting a lot of plastic pollution and piling problems, collection, segregation, all these issues are coming. Go to next. So if you see the now our life is uh, totally mixed with uh, plastics in all uh, segments like retail, packing industry, household applications, hotel industry, medical industry, agriculture, um, what not our life from morning to evening from toothpaste to till we sleep on the beds, it is uh, connected with the plastic products. But the problem of the plastic products, uh, you, you may be aware of this. Next slide. So this is impacting the entire ecosystem. If you see, the basic polyethylene will have 200 to 400 years of life uh, to degrade in environment. And at the same time, uh, in the uh, entire worldwide, if you see, 5 trillion bags are produced annually, but only 1% is recycled. That's the bad part of the story. Then it has a lot of impact on ocean, animal, and ecosystems and lot of animals are dying and fishes are dying 
which is spoiling in the entire land and all the pollutions. I don't say that plastics are bad. Plastics are good, but provided you should have a better mechanism of collection, segregation, and recycling aspects. But unfortunately, in a country like India, we have a vast population. Just we are throwing wherever we want, and nobody is collecting. This is piling the plastic, which is causing a lot of pollution to the earth. Next one. Now the time has come. Government has uh, said also the same thing. We have to say no to plastics maximum extent possible. Because of these are the nine reasons, you know, it has a made from fossil fuels, use carbon print, which is causing a lot of problem. Then consumes uh, hormonal uh, uh, causes hormonal disruption and cancers, and it is leaching a lot of toxins uh, into food and drink when we store in the plastic products. Kills marine and the other uh, ecosystems, which is uh, impacting a lot. There is a main concern uh, where we have to say no to plastic to maximum extent possible. Our olden days uh, culture and traditions are very good because you know. That time, all of us we have used only metals related issues on related items only. Since we have recently uh, habituated to plastics, that is causing a lot of problem. Example, you see, in olden days, entire night in copper vessel water will be stored. Then next day, entire day they will drink that water. Copper interacts with water and produces copper oxide dissolving in water, which is very good for health. No cancer, no BP, nothing will happen. But today we are uh, pouring, storing water in uh, cans or RO systems, which is made by plastic. Definitely, there is some leaching of uh, toxins into uh, water or water, maybe nothing like carbon monoxide will dissolve, which will cause cancer or any other diseases. So we may think it is a lightweight to carry and very easy, but uh, health point of view, it is very hazardous. That's why now the time has come. Everybody, we have to say no to plastics. Next. So you know the problem in our country is the government also a um, lot of headache to the government of India, the state governments is how to collect this plastic waste, how to segregate uh, poly vinyl chloride, polyethylene, PET bottle, so many variety of bottles are there, so many variety of plastic products are there. If just we throw on the road, the people who are collecting these uh, carry bags and all plastic products, they don't know which is made by which material. That's why segregation is very difficult task, collection is very difficult task, then recycling is another issue. So in our country, the recycling is happening only less than 5% what the plastic products we are using. So now government of India especially made uh, as per plastic man waste management rules up to you know uh, July end, uh, they made it a 75 microns carry bag only to be used. And uh, from set first uh, August onwards, you have to use 120 microns uh, thickness of the carry bag for ease of recyclability. Because, uh, you know, uh, there is no control basically, uh, it is very difficult to control that market. As a result of that, what will happen is, you know, uh, government also is unable to control entire thing. That's a big problem. So now, slowly, government has thought of that some parts at least we could be able to ban. Subsequently, totally they want to ban. That's the idea behind this. Because I am the member of plastic committee for Niti IO. And uh, we had a full discussion how to minimize the plastics uh, for uses as well as how to go ahead for betterment for collection, segregation, and uh, recycling aspects. Next. Then, government uh, all parallelly they are thinking alternate solutions also how to make uh, existing things. Because suddenly we transform to suddenly stop all the plastic products, then people may feel that. Uh, they don't have alternate solution. That's why what they started is we will go for some biodegradable materials, non-biodegradable materials, combinations together, where we can replace the products with biodegradable, 
let us see that solution this way. so for students point of view this is a simple slide what is biodegradable and non biodegradable materials you may be already knowing which is in uh, ambient condition over the duration of time by bacterial activity or fungus activity it will degrade simply we will call it as biodegradable material or if it is not degraded in the presence of sunlight or uh, bacteria or uh, whatever fungus it is non biodegradable next so you know bioplastics basically uh, causing of bio uh, biological activity especially activity of enzymes so considering the source uh, we distinguish that as some natural polymers modified natural polymers like viscose methyl cellulose synthetic polymers like tla polyesters next next slide so there is a need now to shift into other alternate solutions like biopolymers made by transforming bio based materials like you know cellulose and other parts significant portion of carbon is derived from renewable sources like corn soya bean grass plant straw etc then these uh, complete assimilation will happen due to microorganisms is disposal of uh, infra by bacteria or enzyme by fungus next slide so you see this uh, picture very carefully bioplastics like pet pa ttt in a polylactic acid all these things if you see there are two issues left side non biodegradable right side biodegradable top is bioplastics uh, have some bioplastics uh, conventional plastics and uh, polyl based plastics so bio based the top half portion is very most adaptable at the same time polyl based also adaptable but because of uh, uh, long duration of availability that may not be suggestible now we are going especially uh, this uh, top uh, right corner option is the best option bio based biodegradable so this will have a reduction in consumption of fuel based plastics from non renewable sources environmentally benign materials possess low carbon footprint and easy to go for effective waste management next slide so basically if you see there are three important issues will come what is the difference between plastic biodegradable and compostable you may be knowing many of the people any material if i put in ambient which does not undergo bacterial activity then generally that would be the plastic product in ambient it will go into small particles breaking into small particles over the long duration of time is plastic but when you put a biodegradable material in the environment when i keep it it will take very short time or uh, requires a specific condition for dissolve and over the long duration of time in ambient condition it will break into micro particles of below 2 mm size basically it is called biodegradable now compostable this is another important issue compostable you see basically when it is uh, composting because of bacterial or fungus or any enzyme activity what will happen is it will uh, break into small particles like you know you take a paper due to bacterial activity after long uh, short duration of time it will become as a small particles then it will convert into manure means all compostable products are uh, biodegradable but all biodegradable are not compostable next slide so just i want to go for uh, any uh, idea behind once we start uh, we have to see the worldwide uh, literature survey being a student of this uh, you also have to adapt i want to do something means first what is available existing thing you have to study first then existing is not suitable then what way you can improve this we have to see if improvement is not possible what way you have to go for new invention this is the main thing a student has to habituate 
so as you, as usual like uh, everybody i also started uh, seeing the worldwide literature what are the polymers and what are the biopolymers so you know very well everybody biopolymers have very good biodegradability but the problem is lack of strength so mechanical properties are not that much good because the reason you know all of them is a cellulose based materials hence chemically weak links will be there hence strength will be very poor so hence if i select a biopolymer i know that strength i may not achieve equivalent to polyethylene but i may achieve very good biodegradability hence my research has started uh, from biopolymers which are available polylactic acid this is a very good biopolymer it has very good strength and everything is very nice but only one problem is that it has a life of 40 to 50 years then you need to bury this for degradation so india like country we are using a huge amount of uh, carry bags if we want to dig it we want to bury it means practically it is not feasible solution and that's why i have said no for the selection of this material for my research next so if you see polylactic acid based uh, products you are already known cutlery oven shirts micro oven trays stands drug delivery devices all of them is made by polylactic acid which is biocompatible but the problem is 40 to 50 years life will be next another important biopolymer uh, which is extracted from the plants is nothing but you know starch starch is a carbohydrate form abundantly available from food plants from cereals roots and tubers directly digestible one of the major option in future next so cellulose you know everybody cellulose is a long chain of polysaccharide carbohydrate of beta glucose it forms the primary structural component of plants and it is digestible by humans but the problem you know cellulose as it is condition if you take it will break very easily like you know example you take uh, paper paper will have very easy breakage because of lack of uh, chemical bonds you know very well that's why cellulose uh, is not that much best option compared to starch option because starch is we are modifying the uh, treating the thing so that it will produce the chemical bonds very easily compared to cellulose next slide then another important is polycaprolactam pca a biodegradable polymer which will have very low melting point 60 degrees and it can sustain minus 60 degrees the advantage of this you know whenever you got to go for uh, low temperature sustainability like uh, deep freezers everywhere we can use this if we go polybutylene succinate this is another this thing Tensile strength is 30 to 35 MPa, but it has a good uh, high elongation, and uh, it is one uh, replacement for uh, polylactic acid. Uh, uh, now people are proposing this. This has a good properties, but cost will be very high. Next. So. i have gone for polybutylene adipate terephthalate this is the material i have selected for my research which is uh, for, uh, extracted from non renewable sources especially fossil based extraction only abundantly available at present directly digestible and home compostable see this is very important aspect i want to discuss here out of all these materials why i have selected pb81 when i am selecting any material i have to do background of all properties analysis then availability of this material all these things is very very important aspect what i did is basically 
I have to replace a carry bag means my idea is that I should not give long life. If I give long life, again we'll do folding and we'll keep in our home or we'll throw on road. So maximum 90 days or maximum four months or six months maximum life I have to give. That is my idea behind when I start my business. Because for a single use application, what is the need of 200 to 300 years of life of the product uh, material I should select? It is a wrong selection, no doubt about it. That's why I have selected TBAT. The advantage of this TBAT is it is edible. If animals or humans eat also nothing will happen. The second advantage is that when we carry the food along the food, you throw this bag after uh, one day food will start uh, undergoing bacterial activity. This bacteria will attack this, then the bag, bag will start uh, degradation. This is the beauty of this. It's a home compostable, not industrial compostable, where you have to dig it, bury it, that uh, process is not. That's why I thought of that this is the, one of the best uh, solution for me for making this bag. Next slide. So you know already the difference between biodegradable and compostable, I already explained. Next slide. Now my aim of the focus of the work is, uh, I have to go for replacement of two products. One is water soluble carry and another is water resistant carry bags. Why the reason is that, uh, you know, we have tri-services uh, utilization like naval deck we will carry something, we will use it, then after that we will throw on uh, C. When uh, all water bottles or uh, polyethylene carry bags if you throw on C, then again it will come to shore, lot of piling and shore, causing lot of problem and it is creating uh, eco ecological problems to fishes and all the things. That's why I started my research work for uh, finding two alternates. One is water soluble for uh, sea applications. Another is water resistant for earth, earth applications, on ground applications. Next. If I am able to replace the polyethylene carry bags, we can able to reduce 40% of pollution on the earth. If we are replace uh, water bottles, 60% we can avoid it. So the targeted my product is, I, I first initially made my target that it should be biodegradable, it should be compostable, good tensile strength, good elongation. All these requirements, it should be printable, multiple colors, it should not harm any aquatic life. All these targets I kept it. Some of them I may achieve, some of them I may not achieve, but first my targets are this. These are the properties I want to achieve. Go to next slide. So now, whenever I say select some solution, definitely we should compare with the existing technologies. You may be seeing in the market now already some biodegradable carry bags. These are all made by polylactic acid. And another technology existing in the worldwide is oxo-degradable. For a plastic product, if we add some additives, after some time, this plastic will break into microparticles. But the problem is, these microparticles of plastic will spill in air. It will travel along the air. Then people will inhale this, we will get lungs problem. That's why worldwide, uh, if you see, also degradable technology is banned. Now coming to polylactic acid based technology, it has a life of 40 to 50 years. Industrial compostable, cost is very high. PLA availability is very poor, that's the reason Polylactic acid uh, biodegradable carry bags are available, but you want to degrade means you have to bury it. This is a big problem. Go to next slide. Hence, uh, DRDO, we made uh, the crucial uh, properties for uh, struggling the finalization of these properties. Example, I'll tell you. As I said, the uh, if I take biopolymer, the strength is very good, but degradability is very good. If I take uh, synthetic polymers, strength will be very good, but degradability is very poor. 
now somehow i had to optimize my research in such a way that in biopolymers i should get the mechanical property 60 to 70 percent of equivalent to polyethylene but biodegradability i should get more than 90 percent that is my idea behind this like that my r and d i started go to next second another point is that um, by making my research uh, the existing polyethylene carry bag people of machinery should not suffer altogether if i say new equipment you purchase uh, for making this carry bag means nobody will be interested uh, nobody will take my technology penetration into the society that's why i i thought of that whatever the formula i am going to do the same formula to be utilized for msme is where the people are now making polyethylene bags on the same machinery they should be able to do my biopolymer based carry bag that's the idea behind this so now i have selected these raw materials pbat which will give the strength and uh, fully degradable starch you know it is a non toxic 100% biocompostable Plasticizers, you know, when we want to go for extrusion process, we want to go for some flow property, melt flow property is required. And filler, we are using calcium carbonate based filler uh, to improve the strength. And some additives uh, like sorbitol or something we are using for movement of this mild for easy flow property. This is basic raw, raw material selection we are using. Next. So I made many formulations in the laboratory level, maybe around uh, five to eight uh, number of formulations we have studied. Finally, we are able to freeze one formulation. This formulation has very good reasonable viscosity to flow into the extruder. And uh, small length of the this uh, heater line is required instead of large length heater line in the extruder. Especially the you know melt flow index is main main property where we should consider for making the film. That melt flow index we got two to three kg, and uh, that is has come very nicely for uh, flow of the film. Hence we could able to get uh, long length of the film. See if I make the small length of the film, you know very well you can do simple casting process by taking some liquid on the some glass plate you put it and do, and you can make film. But I want to make kilometers length of the film. That time there should not be any disconnectivity because carry bag requirement is of the order of few of tons. If uh, running machine runnability also should be very easy so that I can produce the long length film. That's why I need very good flow property. All these things I achieved it in this formula. There's a one beauty and the success what we have got it in this formulation. Next. Now coming to existing technologies and DRDO solution is nothing but DRDO solution is having a home compostable solution. Mechanical properties 70% equivalent to polyethylene and it is uh, 90 days degradable. Once I use a carry bag, once it will come in contact with soil after 90 days it will disappear and converts into manure. And the beauty of the thing is that cost is more or less equivalent to your polyethylene cost. That's the reason we got very good success with this solution. Next. So, you know, uh, just now I told you, making one small film and making a big film, this is the big uh, crux of the any R&D. Making small samples, uh, doing some study, some mechanical properties, biodegradable properties, making some paper, publishing a paper is a different aspect. When we go for realization of the product, uh, on machinery level, we face a lot of challenges. Small samples to how to convert the big blowing of film. That's a big issue we faced it. Then we have taken some uh, technical support from some R and uh, some company. So this is Ecolastic Products company in Hyderabad. They came voluntarily to do some machine vulnerability trials. Then we have started collaborating with them to do the machine vulnerability trials. Next.
So another important aspect is that DRDO will look after always the quality and will also. So we, we never compromise the quality. That's why we started doing the research from raw material to end product. All raw material level, we have done the quality control as well. We have done the intermediate product granule level quality control and the end product bag level quality control. All the quality control aspects we have met very stringently to give the consistent product. Next. Now all raw materials selected and formula of how much percentage mixing we have selected. Then we have to go for machinery, making large scale film. So PB80, starch, additives, all these things we have to add. Then we selected a starch, any starch you can use it, there is no problem at all. But availability of starch is very, very important. So in India, if you see, corn production is very huge. Not only that, our neighboring countries also have very huge production of corn. That's why we have selected corn powder as one of the starch products, which is added to biopolymer. This starch will act as a microbial activity element for degradation phase. So in this process, if you see all raw materials, we mix it in the mixing process. Then we have gone for a twin screw extruder. Then the melt is uh, formed. This melt will extrude. This extruded uh, wired form of the melt, uh, we kept on the conveyor belt in air cooling and air heaters. Then at the end, we have done it the pelletization process. And finally, we made granule. After next part, next slide. After making the granules, we have to go for uh, film making process. I think uh, you know, all you are, you are the chemical engineers may be having the background of machinery of extrusion and blow equipment. So this is the extruder where we are putting the granules. Then we'll uh, put certain pressure, vacuum, and all these temperature properties. Then melt will blow like a bubble gum. Your uh, pushing the air, it will form in the form of a spherical bubble. Same way, we have done it, we have made the blowing of the balloon of the required diameter. Then we have rolled it in the rollers and in the rolled one, we will go for next printing, cutting and all the process. So we have made basic blowing process to go for this and blow equipment we have taken. Next. So once we made the roll of the film, after folding this, we are sending through the uh, printing uh, process. In the printing process, we may go for multiple colors or single color that is based on the choice of the customer. Now the beauty of this is that we made this color also biocompatible. You know, in Rajasthan, uh, Jaipur, some place, if you may be seeing that, they made all the paintings uh, with using natural leaves uh, liquid. Same thing we are using here for making this uh, printing on the back. So this entire product uh, contains a zero plastic. This is the beauty of this product. Go to next. So this is my final end product after printing, cutting and uh, punching, uh, reshaping and what type of uh, thing we want to make it. Here another important uh, problem we face while we realize this product is sealing aspect. See polymers, uh, synthetic polymers in heating process because of thermoplastic nature, they will happily undergo sealing process. But uh, when you add some starch, uh, it will affect your sealing aspect. That's why then uh, we optimize the ratio of biopolymer, how to go for better sealing and all the issues. Because the entire product is made, sealing is not proper, then very difficult to carry the items. That also we have done a lot of uh, iterations, then finally we have gone for a good sealing process. Next. Now quality control, I already told to you, at raw material level, in process parameters, final product, and all tensile, elongation, thickness, ash content, moisture content, 
all these properties we measured and consistently we monitored the process next now testing is another issue so we want to send this product means you know very well there are some testing aspects we have to go first is we have to go disintegration during composting so it will be kept in a controlled environment so it should have a dry mass of not more than below 10 percent the part when it is disintegrated the particle should be having below 2 mm thickness of micro particle size then uh, another important thing that in ambient condition how it is undergoing degradation how much time it is taking that is another test we have carried out then we want to ensure the compostability means once the bag is uh, degraded that powder we kept in the plants we have studied the plant growth also all these things we have done at a sipet as per the is uh, 170 wh standard which is uh, to be passed uh, to go for any making of the biodegradable product next so these are all like test equipment we use for uh, quality control of the product dsc ftir carbon content chns analysis filler content how it is degrading uh, with respect to uh, temperature converting into ash or not all these tests we have to up Next. Next slide. Then we have done the test at SIPET, Aurangabad, for all material quality control. Next. Because basically we will have the test certification from SIPET will be accepted by the Central Pollution Control Board. So we met our product 96% uh, uh, plant growth compostability we achieved it. It's a very good achievement what we got it. And biodegradation uh, is around nine, more than 90% we got it. And uh, compostability is uh, around 96% we got it. And uh, we have not seen any heavy metal content in uh, any of the uh, product in either ink or some, some places. Then biodegradability test report, we got it from, generally, you know, this uh, biodegradability will compare with cellulose because cellulose is basically biodegradable material and compostable material. And so with the reference of cellulose, our sample, uh, they have done the testing and we got uh, more than 96% biodegradability. Next. You know what is the whether content of PLA or PBAT, all these uh, things we will uh, FTIR. Next. Plant growth, you know, we have carried out plant growth, how whether it is really converting into manure or not, uh, this is we want to ensure. That's why plant growth studies also we have carried out. Next. Finally, we got uh, provisional clearance uh, from the Central Pollution Control Board. Then we have got extension and the permanent uh, uh, Pollution Control Board clearance too. Next. These are all the tests we have carried out for uh, realizing the end product. Then labeling and post certification. Suppose uh, anybody want to take this bag, you know, there will be a QR code and uh, you know nowadays uh, making uh, to avoid the duplication. All these things we have carried out on the bag. On bag, once you scan with your uh, mobile also with QR code, you can get from where the origin it is there to avoid the adulteration. Next. Now, what is the way you have to store this? What is the way you have to transport this? Basically, you know, we will keep all these bags in sealed condition. Whenever you want to use it, you will take it out and uh, you can use it. But as soon as it started uh, exposing to atmosphere, in 90, day, nine, 90 day, uh, days it will uh, lose its strength. If you just apply the force, it will break into small, small particles. And it is in common contact with the soil. After 120 days, it will convert into magnet. This is the beauty of the product. 
So all the SOPs of storage, transportation, usage, everything we have defined when we are giving them back to any of the companies for selling. Next. Now equipment details, you know, anybody want to put this company, you can, they can use as a small scale industry also for bag making, just they need 30 lakhs rupees. If anybody want to make the granules and as well as uh, the bags, it takes 1.3 CR. The beauty of this is that the existing uh, carry bag making equipment can, uh, uh, machinery can be used to make this same product without any modification or small minor modification. Now coming to any product once we design, we will see finally, this is the main important slide, we will see the angle of cost. If I have done all good research, I have done better product, finally if it is not cost compatible, then nobody will take my product. So now you see biodegradable carry bag, per bag cost is around 1.54 pies. Polyethylene of 50 microns, if you take 1.16. Means now at present uh, polyethylene carry bag cost is low compared to biodegradable carry bag. But now government of India once uh, they um, implement this rule of 120 micron thickness, then biodegradable carry bag will be cheaper 20 percent compared to your polyethylene carry bag. Not only that, when you go for cost cutting point of view. Biodegradables will be any thickness you can go. There is no thickness limitation. From right from 30 microns to any thickness you can produce based on your weight bearing capacity, you can increase the thickness and you can do it. We made a carry bag which can carry up to 18 to 20 kg. And we have given successfully in our canteens for uh, carrying all the uh, Irana grocery items. Next. That's why cost also it is compatible and uh, we have gone for uh, domestic industrial naval applications also, especially water soluble I, as I said, for uh, naval application once they throw it, uh, it will dissolve in water and uh, within uh, one hour or two hours it will just uh, dissolve in water. Another solution also we have given. Next. So then we want to go for publicity of this product. This is one uh, right choice. Uh, I think we have made it uh, where to implement and uh, send this product into village level. So we thought of that uh, we had to tap a point where we will get very good publicity as well as good sale. So, you know, in our place, Tirupati is the only best place where many people will come. Many pilgrims from the rural India also will come. That's why we have gone to Tirumal Tirupati Devasthana. We have given a presentation. We said it is a very good product. They also felt very happy. Immediately they are given a counter. Now we are giving the Virupati Laddu Prasadam in uh, same carry bag only. And uh, once you go to Tirupati, you can see that counter uh, where you will have the DRDO and uh, ecolastic products. So together we kept one counter for promoting this and giving the publicity. That's the reason we got very good success. And our secretary, DRDO, and everybody has come and we have launched the product at Tirupati. And see, this is another important aspect is, based on your end product requirement, we have to do different types of tests. So a pilgrim will carry the laddu not very smoothly. With very happiness, he will do dancing and take it, correct or not? That time, that uh, vibration and if jung, uh, vibration as well as uh, bumps, uh, tests also we have to carry out. That's why always I say, when you realize any product, you should have what is the end product environment it is going to work for that, whether it is okay or not okay, you have to do the cross section. That's why we have done hanging test, we have done jumping test, we have done uh, vibration test and all the things on the bag. Finally, we found that the bag is very happily sustainable and the ceiling also very proper, everything we have done. Why we have taken all these carries? See, anybody carrying laddu, suddenly it is fallen down. What will happen? DRDO bag is not good, people will tell. Correct or not? Then we'll get bad name. That's why we have done all these tests and once we ensured, then only we have given for implementation. Go next.
then they have given straight forward the order uh, go ahead for uh, implementation next so this is where we launched the product at our counter our honorable secretary g satish reddy chairman drdo and me and my director all people we made this uh, inauguration and uh, we felt uh, that day very happy because i am seeing my product on every hand uh, who are gone to tirupati next so next we got very good media coverage also you may be seeing online uh, biodegradable carry bags drdo if you click it you will get lot of volumes of uh, media and uh, as well as the product related thing and uh, dikti i will send one uh, link uh, you please forward to all people uh, because that contains entire story of this because one bangalore film making uh, company has come forward uh, to do to see this product uh, shooting especially they made entire process of shooting and they have uh, made one short film i'll process i'll send the link to you you please uh, send to all your uh, students and your friends so that they will by seeing that entire video will come to know all the uh, technology itself yes actually not only tirupati we have given uh, and commissioner environment has given a, a proceeding to all the temples to implement this without any hesitation second we got the first success is that uh, niti ayog which is connected to prime minister mm -hmm. they are given standing directions uh, in a letter saying that uh, all 85 ministries of state and central to implement this in all government offices mm -hmm. this is a very good success we got it uh, next slide please now we are impl implementing everywhere uh, wherever we are doing not only this you see we are doing another important thing that once we are given a carry bag to any pilgrim at tirupati we are taking their address once they have gone back to village they are calling them and asking have you faced any problem because we are we have established a feedback system whether new product is good or any problems are there so that we can rectify those problems next point so now uh, anybody want to approach technology transfer we are giving free of cost to everybody whoever is having, having the company only thing that they have to show the uh, machinery with them and quality control lab so technology transfer we are giving free of cost and we are giving license agreement they can use drdo uh, emblem on the top of the product to get the brand value well. next so subsequently we got so much uh, requirement uh, from different fields adson company they have come forward for making this uh, uh, milk curd cups uh, milk packets and uh, biodegradable plates and etc so we have signed mou with adson uh, company from chennai aarogya milk you might be seeing in our advertisement also <coughs> so in future we are going to give the milk product a uh, milk packets especially made by biodegradable carry bag which has a maximum life of only 20 days so the reason is that any milk maximum it can be stored 10 days only after that it cannot be used it will go bad that's why i am now aiming a uh, 10 days life which should not have leakage of uh, liquid so for that we are doing uh, uh, otr test wtr test water uh, transmission rate test and oxygen transmission rate test this is the main crucial test here the problem is that you know starch contains uh, some porosity so that's why this whatever existing bag it may not be used for uh, carrying the liquid so we want to go for carrying the liquid means we have to do some modification for uh, not, uh, to avoid leakage of uh, liquid that type is under process i request meena ravindran anybody who is a very good student uh, you can uh, send to us uh, where we can uh, uh, take the students help for uh, doing this project uh, or testing aspects and all those things to involve oh thank you veera brahman garu actually okay. if you have completed the presentation i yeah, have yeah. a few questions next slide
Next slide. Thank you. Uh, I should uh, we definitely thank all my team members, uh, Padman Abharaju, my chairman, my director, as well as the industry who involved directly in the machine runnability trials and all the things. And uh, Dr. Ranjana from headquarters, uh, DIDO, she made a contribution of promoting this to various uh, departments like Niti Aayog and other places. I am definitely thankful to all these people who made me proud as well as who made DRDO as proud. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we can have a discussion, ma'am. Very much. Thank you, sir, for, uh, for such an inspiring presentation. We just got into your words. It is such an amazing and inspiration, inspiring journey and words too. We are lucky to be you are to be under the presence of your inspiring words. Thank you, sir. Okay. Talented, energetic, astronic mindset. The meeting is now open for comments and questions. Yeah, students. So, if there are no questions, means meaning that there are, there are. and everything, or you have not understood anything. No, there are some questions. Please ask me. Thank you so much, sir, for coming here and giving us a talk. Like, uh, firstly, thank you, Mina, ma'am, for sharing that video. So, actually, we got to know about you and your product through Mina, ma'am, sir. And, and also, I, I recently visited Tirupati, and uh, I, I oh. actually love love like i i want to see the world changing it towards sustainability and when i when i just saw the idea of uh, using the using that the instead of plastic how, how they that that just the idea really made me get impressed and i was thinking how how they came up with this idea and how uh, and the way the area was chosen because TTD, uh, like Tirupati is a place where people come from different places, right? You were mentioning, right? I was with the same thoughts, like uh, what you mentioned, because we, there, that is the perfect place to let everyone in this world know the product. And, uh, uh, and uh, after that, I, I just realized that Meena Ma'am shared that video and I was very excited to know know and interact with you and Deepthi, Deepthi who contacted you and we were we were waiting for this day to happen and really know how how this thing happened and you really inspired us so thank you so much oh thank you thank you very much thank you Nikilana Deepthi Akka Deepthi Siyach Akka go ahead Okay. Uh, first of all, congratulations, sir, for you and your team for uh, for introducing this product. Uh, I mean, I, I was very uh, keenly listening to the, uh, your presentation. It was so interesting for me. I mean, uh, I, I heard like every point you were saying and I was noting down all the technical terms, actually. I mean, to search them in the background because we are not... <laughs> to to I mean we, we don't know the technical words which you are using all the products from which they come and so I, I was noting them all of them uh, so as far as I heard uh, I mean first the question uh, I mean I have some doubts in your presentation the first thing like uh, with what material PV80 is made of yeah very good question uh, this is basically you know fossil uh, you know crude oil will be there when you go for crude oil, at the last you will have a residue. This residue will be made with so many these things. So in that uh, we can go for uh, this extraction will come from PBAT from that only. Okay. But, but it is not having, you know, basically any polymer will have the problem when it has a long chain of carbon. Okay. So PBAT will have a very weak chain of carbon. That's the reason it does not give any problem and it acts as a biopolymer. Means that your chemical uh, 
bonds will be more or less equivalent to your uh, cellulose that's the reason we can use this as a byproduct okay. so this is basically from fossil extraction okay uh, so that that's the reason it, it is the degradability is around 90 days or so because yeah. you have mentioned biodegradable will be having 40 to 50 days in the beginning so i was confused i mean it is a biodegradable and it is it is having 90 days and how it is possible so yeah. you are going to make the same material to 20 days or 10 days or so no yeah. i'll tell you why we have selected this 90 days is generally from production to kirana shop one carry bag has to go for selling means minimum you take one month okay from there sometimes a kirana fellow may get sales may not get sales am i right Yes. So, suppose uh, if I give only 20 days, from the day of production to going to Kerala itself, uh, it takes uh, two to three, four days. Then what will happen? By the time it goes to that side, it, uh, some properties of the bag will be lost. Yes. Hence, uh, what will happen? You don't have a time to sell it. That's why minimum time for the transportation from production point to selling point, you take at least one week. From there to, you will have three months time. So that what will happen, it will definitely sell it up. Second thing is that as soon as you keep in a sealed condition, nothing will happen. Once you open from the sealed condition, then kept in ambient condition, then only it starts degradation. That's when 90 days we are given. Not only that, we can tune this uh, life of uh, this carry bag, not only 90 days, we can give one year, I can give two years, I can give three years. Example, I'll tell you, we made uh, nursery bags, okay? where plants will grow. That should not have 90 days. That requires minimum six months to one year. Right? So, when I give 90 days for the nursery plant growing bag, then it is not a correct thing. That's why what we did is, we made one more formula in such a way that it can sustain up to one year, six months to one year. So that by the time plant will grow, by the time somebody will take it and uh, they will put the plant. That's why I'm just telling now, na, any product when I'm giving, See, for normal carry bag point of view, 90 days is sufficient. But any product other than this, you want to go again, you should see what is the life you want. Always. So, but we can tune the life of this product up to three years. Uh, so, now uh, you are going to uh, make the plastics of our 20 day biodegradable for 20 days or so. Like you are uh, using another material for making these products. No, no, same thing. Same only. material. We'll do okay. some small formulation change. That's all. Okay. From 90 to 80. Any, any mm -hmm. light I can give. Ditti, I think he has told that 20 days is not viable. Minimum not is 90. 90 days. Minimum 90 days we are given. There is no 20 days plan. It is 90 days only. 90 days to 3 years. Any life I can give. Minimum is 90 days. Yes, ma'am. My, my doubt was like, uh, sir is aiming to do it for 20 days. No, like, no, no. Okay, no. But it cannot be done, no. Because by the time you manufacture and it goes to the shops or the counters and then it gets distributed, 20 days will be done like that only. Then, so that then, is dangerous. Then how it is going to be used for uh, milk products? Uh, that's a different concept. See, okay. That's what I am telling you. Whatever this uh, film we are making, that will have leaching of some liquid. Okay. So now we have to avoid the leaching of liquid. And you should not have any microbial activity with milk. Mm. It has a microbial activity, what will happen? The milk will spoil. Yes. Second thing is the milk should not come out from the bag. Means leaching should not happen. Diffusion should not happen. That's why yeah. oxygen uh, transmission rate ratio, one test will be there. Water transmission rate test one will be there. For that, we are doing think, some modification of the formulation. With the same formulation, uh, we are not able to get this. All okay. liquids will have different, uh, different um, I mean, parameters, things. I think, yes. for all yes. liquid storage. Yes. Oils and that kind of things. That is under R&D, not at the final life. Yeah, correct. Okay. Uh, so, like, uh, I, I want to know more about this, sir. Like, uh, comparison of cellulose and uh, PBAT. Cellulose is directly, it will undergo, when you keep in ambient, directly it will undergo by, um, microbial activity. PBAT does not undergo directly a microbial activity. Once you add starch, then only it will undergo microbial activity. Okay. 
That's why we are optimizing the mixing ratio of PBAT and starch in such a way that starch will dominate and the PBAT cannot dominate. It's simple logical, Dipti, when you understand carefully. So once we go for addition of more starch, quickly it will undergo biodegradation. You mm -hmm. got my point? Yes, yes, yes. If I add less starch, it will take more time. Means that's the reason I'm telling you I can able to tune the life of this carry bag in such a way that least life I can give and um, magnum life also I can. Yes. So you got it. long life means you need to increase the PBAT. You want short life means we have to increase starch. Simple logic. Yes, yes, got it. Uh, yes. I'll, I'll study more about this topic, sir. Thank you for clearing my doubts. And I, at last question, like how long did you take from the research state to, I mean, completion of the product, sir? For making this research, uh, it has taken one year, 14, 14 to 15 months. Oh. To get into the uh, publicity and all the things, we got uh, one year. <laughs> I mean, you have developed so quickly. Yeah, <laughs> we have done very quickly. But what about the approvals and... Uh, that, is, that has taken longer. That has taken longer, yes. One year, See, one year we have what is done within our own labs, we have controlled. But what is uh, approvals and all that only normally take more, uh, more right. time. Quality control aspects and all that. Yeah. No, no. You know, when I went to environment and pollution department, initially they have not uh, cared at all. Uh, Secretary DRDO entered and then uh, they have started thinking of this uh, alternate solution. Because so many... So there is a lot of challenges he has faced. That is what we... From his talk, you're not able to make out. But I'm pretty sure how much challenges he must have faced and their team has faced. It's not at all easy to get it into the open and market it. Simple thing now, all polyethylene companies, they want, they don't want to go for replacement. Right? The simple reason is that uh, big companies are controlling this polyethylene production. Correct. I don't want to name it, basically. Uh, so, like, one more question just now yeah. from your, your sentence. Like, uh, you have said that we can use the same machinery, right, sir? Yes. Then why not polyethylene, uh, the companies uh, which are using polyethylene can change their material? Definitely. The same Definitely they can change it. That's what I'm telling you. There the, is no problem. Uh, whatever polyethylene machines mean, you can produce these uh, biodegradable carry bags. Only that's why so many companies are coming forward, Deepthi. Okay. These so many companies are signing all, agreement with them, no? Already 20 companies were given the technology transfer, big companies. Wow. Within two months, you may get uh, many places uh, the idea of product. Second thing is uh, around... Let's start 65. one more company, Deepthi. All uh -huh. Deepthi. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, around 250 companies request has come. And uh, 45 companies under process of giving license. Excellent. Wow. wow, very nice, sir. Like I have, I have heard many researchers going on these carry bags. I mean, uh, replacement of carry bags, but not other products. Uh, why is it so? Is it only because the tensile strength? No, bulk products. B bulk products. You have. I told you, know, forty percent of pollution is coming from only carry bags. Means the usage is also forty okay. percent. Okay, it is only because of the uh, usage. Hey, where you can't use, you go, if you go to vegetable market, so you will have different items, each one polyethylene carry bag, all of them in one big carry bag. That is, that is the major polluter. So yeah. if you attack that problem, rest of it can develop from this base. Okay. You got that, Deepthi? Yes, 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 coming from the yeah. ground. So level. you attack the biggest problem, you have got 40% advantage. Then remaining, we can continue to do research and one by one. Like he already told that uh, in some of the last slides, he has shown so many other products, glasses, plates, and um, cutlery and all that, right? So yes. there is uh, and any thickness they can make. So slowly, slowly, we'll find applications and replacement of conventional plastics. Yes. yes I think sir. it's it's only, it's only a question of... Uh, strategy we implemented. The main strategy is that uh, which is a huge usage, first we attack it. Then the next usage we will attack later like that. Yes. Thank you, sir.
Good questions, Deepthi. Yeah, yeah, very good. Very good. Thank you, Deepthi. Chaka. Deepthi, go ahead. Yes, thank you, actually. Uh, th so, firstly, thank you, sir, for this wonderful presentation. Like, we have said everything from the starting of the, you know, everything. <laughs> and so, my question is like, most of it, Deepthi had asked. Uh, so my question is, uh, what happens to it after 90 days? Like, what exactly, ha what, what should we do? Like, sh is there anything we should do? Or, uh, you know, how, like, what happens to it after 90 days, sir? This is a very good question. You are asking this question means you are very thoroughly following my presentation. So simple thing. Once bag, it is a meaning that once bag after 90 days, what will happen means it will lose its strength. If you don't keep any contact, suppose if you just hang, uh, it will be as it is only. But if you apply your uh, force, na, easily breaks into pieces. Means that is undergo biodegradation. Means it will lose its strength. It will become a uh, small, small part. You don't. No, I think uh, you, you don't have to do anything, Deepthi. It will disintegrate on its own. You just throw it in the garbage. It will disintegrate after ninety days. Oh, oh, so it will tear or. Uh... <laughs> No, 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 no. Isn't it a waste again? No, no. His question is different, ma'am. I'll tell you. You have taken a bag, right? Mm. One bag is with you. Mm. So once you have, you will carry something. Then after that, what you do? You may keep with you in open atmosphere conditions. Mm. Number one. Number two, you will throw along with your in dustbin, right? Mm. Number three, you may throw on road. Am I right? Mm. These three only possibilities. Suppose if you keep it along with you. you know, also, it, mom, girl, yes. She may keep it for reuse. She yeah, may keep it temporarily. Both mm. one is you may be using one more time, right? Mm -hmm. But if you keep with you means you want to reuse it. That's why you're keeping, correct? Up to 90 days you can use it, same strength will be there. After 98 days, if you use it, some uh, you may feel that it is not able to bear the load because it is losing its strength. Mm. It's a point, point of view. You will throw along with your food waste or along in your dust. So when it is in contact with the water or within, when it will be in contact with the food, what will happen? Bacteria will start. So it will be eaten by bacteria. So it will be great. Suppose if you throw on road, when it will come in contact with the soil, then uh, bacterial will, activity will start. Then again, it will start degradation. After uh, 90 days, it will convert into man. Hope clear now. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Can we just suppose I brought vegetables? Then can I wash it and dry it and reuse? You can. Uh, we are not suggesting to wash this. Simple reason is that when mm. you wash it, na, it will come in contact with the water, right, ma'am? Yeah, but I will immediately put it for drying. Yes, yes. No, you can use it. No problem. When it okay. will come in contact with water, the starch powder will be there, na? This. Arch powder will start undergoing bacterial activity. Mm, okay. That's the reason not suggestible to keep in contact with water. Okay. You can keep in contact with water. Suppose if you put in freeze. Mm. Okay. So uh, approximately 10 to 15 days, nothing will happen. After 10 to 15 days, you will see that okay, you can throw this back like that. <laughs> okay. So you can use uh, for storing of vegetables uh, in freeze also, no problem. But maximum 10 days later, we had to free. Mm. Okay. I, want, I want to say one point. Bacteria is good for health. There is no doubt on mm. this. Okay. Fungus is dangerous. Okay. You should not allow to farm the fungus. But you can allow bacteria. There means bacteria generally does not give any harm to human. Right? So one more now. Yeah. Uh, so like th this, the life of this bag is only to take, take uh, 90 days or one uh, take uh, one to two years. But I have a jute bag with me, which, you know, I, I could use it forever, right? And it's not harmful. Correct. So uh, why would people prefer to buy this, which is, uh, which has only one to two years of life? Like jute, they, they can prefer jute bags more, right? Like, uh, you know, uh, I have bags. I use bags which uh, which are strong and which uh, which I can use it for years together. Uh, very good, then very good why would I, 
Why would I use a bag? Let me will answer it. A simple question. Why you are not carrying juice bag for uh, whenever you are purchasing vegetables? <laughs> okay, like I I no, do. No, no. <laughs> Let me I'll answer. Then you'll come to know easily. <laughs> See, basically, what will happen? Polyethylene thing is easy to carry. Number one. Mm -hmm. And the shops, they are giving very happily because of low cost. Am I right? Okay. Second thing is, jute bag, no doubt, it is very good biodegradable and very good and uh, everything went, but you have to carry it. But generally, you never carry it whenever you are purchasing something. Only the problem is that the cost of the jute bag is very high and every time you have to carry along with you. Now, people have become lazy. <laughs> so, what will happen is, when I go to shop, even nearby my home also, what I'll do, simply I'll go, I'll ask something, I will give in carry bag, I'll bring it. Am I right? No doubt, the jute bags are better than the existing polyethylene bags or biodegradable bags, whatever may be the thing. But only thing, the mindset of the customer, what they have to use is a very, very important point. Am I right? Hmm. So if you carry jute bags, no doubt, jute bags are the best compared to any bag. No doubt hmm. not. It has a long life also. But when jute bag come in contact with water or something, definitely it will also have some limited life. But definitely compared to these bags, jute bag life is more. Four to five years, six years you can use. Yes, sir. And um, can we get these bags? Where do we get these bags? Like Now we, we, uh, we, we have seen it in TTD. But uh, for people around, like for those who haven't been to TTD, just uh, just uh, wait for a month and uh, we are putting in online. Amazon, mm -hmm. or all online we are putting. You can take it from there or otherwise if you want some sample, uh, give, send your address, we'll post it. It's not a problem. Yes. The department, you can uh, <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Just wait for uh, a Please send uh, some to America. In, uh, <laughs> Please send to America also. Sure, ma'am. Sure. We can distribute here and tempt everybody. Sure, ma'am. Sure. Hundred percent. We can use it in it. And uh, sir, uh, can how can we assist you in future? Yes. I mean, it, it's so exciting. Like even we want to be a part of it. Like you know, at least distributing around or anything. How can we do that? How can we help you? You come can research a bit. They can come and uh, sit with us. There's some work uh, testing or uh, involvement of R&D. You can join, no problem. Most welcome. We are interested, very, very strong intention of uh, things to do. People only I want. Uh, yes. 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 I when I come back, I will also join. When I come back, I will come to you, Dr. Veera Prabhu. Most welcome. Wow, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I have a question. Anybody else? Students? Pranit. Yeah, thank you, Meena. Thank you, sir, for the flawless presentation and receiving everyone. So my question was related to the cost. So we are moving towards the green revolution and green technology, right? So uh, I am seeing a future where the use of petrol or crude oil will be uh, plummeted kind of like it would be leased then how would you say the cost of per bag like how much it might increase i i, I just wanted to know like no. are we totally depending on the crude oil simple thing we are not using crude oil crude oil lost yeah, residue for tbat number one number yeah. two you know Extraction of crude oil uh, cost may change very drastically from time to time. But the lost residue, whatever may be the thing left over, it is a useless thing, basically. That yes. thing only people, uh, companies are taking and they are doing by making this. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's the reason the cost may not affect more. Only the PBAT cost slightly, maybe 1 to 2% or 3% may change time to time. That is also, I don't say that it won't change. There is a probability to change, but since it's a loss to residue, may not give more effect of uh, changing of the cost. Yes, sir. sir like, what is the availability of getting this uh, residue? Like, how available it is? All our petrol extraction, uh, crude oil extraction companies, they have the same thing. 
worldwide is a very big market there is no problem at all yes thank you see i will always suggest that old methodology is very good when you go out you carry your bag and bring it is always best you do you don't you don't want avoid pollution that's the only method but okay we are habituated in this world every time we will go outside freely and we want to bring something definitely better use biodegradable thing instead of nina ma'am do you have anything to ask yeah i wanted to ask firstly i wanted to thank dr veeram brahmam garu it was an excellent presentation and um, very very educative. no very educative it was educative your presentation very detailed and also you have covered a to z i could see starting from the research to um, quality control i mean productionizing the whole thing and um, marketing and even taking feedback the, up to that point you have taken care and also you have given the future plans so i see high huge potential for young students to i mean chemical engineering students to participate in this whole activity if they are as you said very very sincere and deeply interested i find that some of the students in this group are already having that drive and that passion yeah. and uh, as such top students are like that they they show their passion of course they have to they have to prove their intentions and uh, maybe one some of them will be interested in participating in the manufacture or or production also oh so well, okay. yeah um, so i want them to like in thope we encourage them to learn learning is a big mindset so they have to learn how a process development takes place from from embryo to a full born baby how it happens for a product so that they can learn they they have got a idea from the your presentations today so and if you want to set up an industry so how do you go about it i think you have a template for that that yes. first they have to write a project report right no, suppose they have just uh, if any company gives one request letter uh, we will put provisional clearance to them yes we will give the technology that is that is existing company suppose somebody wants to start a production unit fresh new one i uh, mean uh, they have to register a company is the mandatory yes correct one so in order to register and get funds uh, we have yeah. to make project report so yeah. i think they some people have to do that so oh, anyway um, before doing all that they should get hands on experience on working with this product and uh, marketing or uh, doing the testing like you said so this is i'm i'm feeling very excited about the opportunity the students will um, gain um, by being in touch with you in touch with the drdo and uh, they can do a lot for the nation as well as the world and the environment so i am very passionate about all these things and i am glad to see that quite a few of our students are thank you so much uh, brahmam garu and definitely i would like to meet you and keep in touch with you and uh, bring these students over there and take take on further please tell us if we have opportunities to sure, be spread spreading the word you send some Another... team. i don't have any concern you send some team of 3 or 4 yeah. then yes. we can come task also we can work together sure. you know if sure And sure. we'll provide and all another the thing I want to say, I am involved in uh, some other groups also. That is something called Fenkomat. That means uh, don't litter, don't throw garbage. There is a there is a team we work towards that to spread that message. So I wanted this presentation to be seen by them also. But, uh, right now it was little short notice. When I come back, I would like to um, request your presentation for more number of groups. No issue. And, uh, yeah so this is going to help our uh, team efforts also in a big way so we we need not worry so much about people throwing away stuff we can say okay we can turn a blind eye okay you throw anyway it will degrade this way this way we can take. and we have been trying to tell the shopkeepers please try to take back the bags or please charge it and you know we we go to shops 
all the shops and campaign for that but now we can be a little dilute on that aspect because even if they don't do it definitely we know that it will degrade so that worry can be removed from our minds that way i am feeling very much happy <laughs> thank you very much and actually yeah. satish radigaru also i am having some um, I mean, we have met in couple of times in NFC. Okay. okay. So yes. it was wonderful, and <laughs> how he has also encouraged you. Also wonderful. Oh. Yes. Do you know Dr. Jayatirth Joshi? I know. I know. Because oh, of yeah. Him, yeah, I could able to contact you. So. Yes, yes. Because through him only, I got in touch with you. We used to have some work. We used to do some work together. Yeah. That's and uh, I hope you know Dr. Shrikanth. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he is one of the mentors. Yes. Actually, he is not participating today, but he is one of our mentors here in our group. Yeah, oh, and he is also my batchmate from chemical engineering, Osman Invest. Thank you very, very much. Yes, madam. Thank you very much to everybody and who is uh, on oh, the screen. Most, Thank you. Very some more students want to ask questions. Ah, no, no problem. Let them ask. Sir, can, can we? Yes, Thank you, Madam. Sir, can we come this Thursday? Can can we? Can we come this Thursday to your office? Thursday? Yeah, you can come. No problem. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You can, you can come, and you send your Aadhaar and uh, mobile and all your data so that we'll issue the pass. Okay. Yes, sir. Sure. No problem. Most right. Diti, make a team. Make a yeah, team. Yeah. Give all the names and all the card and all that, and then go. Hey, you fellows, you are want you want to go when I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, second go, time. Go, 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 go. No we'll go again. We will go. Yeah. Yeah. I think for uh, most eager uh, these students uh, want to come. Okay, let them come. Sure, sure, sure. No, no, I'm happy actually to see that excitement. I mean, yes. seeing the students to so uh, learn and all the things is very rare, ma'am. Combinations of our children are special. These children are special children. That's why I wanted them to listen to you. No problem. Welcome. Rohit, talk. Yes, yes. yes. So, thank you very much, sir. Like, uh, whatever you have said, it comes under uh, the thing we are discussing, sustainability. So, I think, as uh, adding to our Meena ma'am's point, so chemical engineering, uh, like, we can be intersected. Like, everything ha change happens when uh, different uh, intersection of uh, intersection of subjects uh, does. So, when intersection happens, it's innovation. So, I think definitely we find a place uh, to uh, carry out your idea. So thank you very much for the presentation. I could see, I could relate many things which we are studying so far in the course, uh, like apart from course. So yes, <laughs> we are eager to learn more from you. Uh, so well, Thursday was another, I, maybe ma'am, Manical yes. I think you are not there. Like uh, so, we can go and we can uh, go together when you come back. <laughs> when I come back to Hyderabad. You guys, yes, please you, go. Sir. Yeah, please go. Okay. Huh? Any yes. other questions? They have no thank you. Who's thank telling? You, thank you very much. Who's giving vote of thanks? Yeah. yeah we and a good beginning section came to an, a great end with all discussion and comments filled with a great lot of learnings. It's my privilege to propose a vote of thanks to humble, innovative person, Vira Brahman sir, for such a remarkable talk. Once again, thank you, Top Stars, for joining and making call interactive. Thank you, everyone. Signing off, Akshita. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can someone read the card for sir? Mm -hmm. Akshu? So you are sending this card to me? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. No, not one card. You will get many cards. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. And Dr. Virabrahma Garu, uh, yes. I hope you have noted their story. That's Ravan yeah. Pedla, who was there in the call. He is the founder ah. of his team. Oh, very good. He's man. a strong man. And oh. he's our junior, some few years our junior. Okay. He's okay. the one who's binding all these people together. We are awesome. also quite a few of us. 
so they are doing excellent work thank you so much veeravan mm -hmm. pramgaru for your precious time we are blown away with your presentation and thank your you. idea of replacing plastic is just amazing and we have no words for it it's helping everyone to live sustainable life which everyone wish for hearing your hard work of replacing the plastic polythene covers in your words inspired us and showed us nothing is hard when you have a strong wish to do it and waiting to witness many such ideas from you once again thank you sir team topi sir thank you thank you for joining sir thank you children thank you bramam garu thank you mina ma'am thank you veer thank you nikhil deep Ritika, Deepthi, Deepthi, all Rohit, everybody. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good morning. Thank It's morning for us here. Yeah.